guys, good afternoon and welcome to this brand new episode of the Malkan Show. I'm back from my certification training. I'm back refreshed, re-energized and uh, totally recharged and ready to go. It was an amazing, amazing training as I shared a few lessons while I was there. I'm sure there is so much more to share which I will during the coming days. And I have been missing you guys. I've been missing all the action here. I purposely and consciously took a social media break for a couple of days to recharge and spend good time with my family and catching up on the work that I missed and now that I'm back. Now the thing is, when I met a lot of people there, as I shared, you know, all the the people from the world over, a lot of them uh, deeply, truly deeply passionate about the work they were doing. There were so many mental notes that I made about those kind of people, you know, what is it that brings them here, what is it that guides them, the lessons that I can learn from them and how they integrate the, integrate their learnings into their daily lives, everything, every small little thing and it was tremendous. The learning that I, I had apart from the actual uh, coaching learning that we used to do was tremendous, was huge. And I want to be sharing one such important distinction that I got there by meeting a lot of people there is of all the people that you meet there, one thing was certain that they want, they had this deep uh, desire, you can say, or this deep, you can, I mean, I would like to call that word necessity. They had this necessity that they had to succeed. They had to, I mean, be good at what they're doing. And that was remarkable. I mean, wow. Uh, it, it's like, you know, no one's forced you to go there. No, it's not required of so many of them to actually travel from all the different parts of the world to that one state called Arizona and to have that intense, deep and um, drilling uh, coaching session that we really used to have. But they put themselves onto that drill. They tried to make the best of it. And they did that, I mean, because they thought it was necessary to succeed. Now, what is this necessity for someone to really succeed and to uh, make it happen? What is what is this whole thing about necessity to succeed? I believe necessity as a mentor, you know, Brendan Mushet calls it, it's that deep emotional drive, which you really feel from within, then you have to do some, uh, you have to do a task or a job or, uh, you know, whatever is, whatever is the endeavor that you're at. So, and this is what I'm talking about is something which is internal, versus something which is external which you could do so this is something which is more connected to your emotions and uh, you can go to that extent saying that if you do not have this necessity to succeed i mean you would not find consistency into your actions into your daily behavior into the way you put up yourselves against the world the way you serve the way you perform your duty so it's all congruence you know the deeper you feel the necessity that you have to go out there and uh, do your duty out into the world do your part out into this whole role that the universe has assigned you the more the necessity the better you get at it so let's understand what's what are the ingredients i mean when i used to observe people there is there is four different things about this whole thing which i made notes of the first one is that what's your identity like? What is it that really you want to be doing when you want to say that you want to do, uh, suppose, for instance, you know, someone wants to coach. I mean, for my instance, you know, I had people who were there from all parts of the world trying to get better at the business of coaching, the art of coaching, the, the art of the, the duty of helping people bring out their best high performance self. And how do you do that? So, you know, whatever you call your internal forces, it could be your dreams, your goals, your desires your your need for growth your need for belongingness it could be multiple various things but what is all these forces you know dream goals desires they all come together to reshape your identity who you actually are and that holds your behavior throughout whatever it is that you're trying to do so it's like you are holding yourself to a very high standard guys that's a very high standard that you want to hold yourself to that's that's the thing because you know, you have something within you that you want to be caring to perform, caring deeply to perform best, to perform to your A game. And that's what I saw in most of them. They were thriving and they were striving to perform at their A game at everything. I mean, we used to have role play sessions, coaching sessions. And even though you're aware that it's a role play, but they're trying to perform at their best A level. And I met some amazing coaches there whom I role played with. And that was an important breakthrough that I had. Because, you know, when you do something that aligns with, you, with your real identity, it changes, you know, it, it makes you more driven. It makes you do a better job. 
that's an important thing, right? That's one important distinction which I made a note of myself too. The second thing, guys, is that people out there were obsessed with what they were doing. I mean, the word that I'm using is obsession and not passion. I speak about this very often that when you say you're passionate about something, you do whatever it is that you want to do. But when you say that I'm obsessed about something, you do, you go all out, you do whatever it takes because obsession is, you know, one level beyond passion. It's like the crazy thing that you have for mastering one topic of interest. So if you want to be doing, you want to become a trader, you're completely obsessed with learning the nuances of the smallest and the easiest of indicators. You want to be better at public speaking. You want to be obsessed about this, this art, the smallest of things. How do you walk on the stage? How do you talk on the stage? So it's all about being obsessed. And how do you find out? People, tell, people ask me, you know, how would you find out whether uh, the thing that I have within me, is it passion or obsession? Uh, I say when people tell you, you know, that you're mad, you're crazy to be doing such thing, that guys is obsession. That shows that you move beyond passion into obsession. Throughout my career of 12 years and to, after changing, uh, switching from corporate law into stocks, I remember multiple instances of telling Vishal, whenever he presents a new idea, I remember so vividly those instances where I used to tell him, you know, Vishal, you're mad, you're crazy. Are you, are you mad to be thinking like this? Are you mad to be thinking that you're going to carry out this idea into the world? And then lo and behold, after a few years, you see that idea into motion and successful, right? So that's one thing that I've learned from Vishal as well, that it's, it's okay to be obsessed with the topic. In fact, most successful people are. If you see Steve Jobs, you see um, um, Jeff Bezos, most of them, they were obsessed. I mean, that was much beyond passion. So that's a clear distinction. You need not just be passionate about something, you need to be obsessed. You know the thousand hour rule that uh, you would have heard, uh, heard most people talk about, Robert Sharma talks about it. What would it take for a person to really devote that 10,000 hours, sorry, not thousands, 10,000 hours? It would be pure obsession. That's beyond passion, right? That's an important one. The third distinction that I've noticed and made good note of is that when someone works as uh, their duty as their obligation that you've got to be doing something for someone out um, I mean it's, it's it's when you think over and above your own self you want to be doing something not just to make money but because someone needs you to perform at your best self for instance your family is counting on you your kids are looking at you how are you conducting yourself I mean are you performing at your A game when your kids see you doing B level work I know you're not happy and neither your kids are so when you know your family is looking at you, when you know your, your students are looking at you, or when you know that someone else who's out there who's wanting you to perform at your A game, you cannot do a B-level job. That's an internal thing which comes, which is, you know, it's necessary for you to perform out of a sense of duty to someone or something beyond yourself. It's like, you know, duty is like you want to be doing you do more for others than what you do for yourself so it's more necessary for you to succeed not for yourself but for others so that's a deeper calling that's that's calling way beyond yourself and this is this i know this is deep that means uh, you should think about it you know think about it if you've not got the meaning think about it when you're alone that what is your duty i mean what is it that you want to be doing not just for yourself but beyond yourself that's important and that matters guys that matters so much that's one thing and the fourth and a very a very important thing that's dear to me for someone like me is having deadlines which means you know i remember the quote what jim ron say that that's one of my favorite quotes of jim ron is without a sense of urgency even a desire a well uh, laid out desire would lose its value which is so important, guys. You have a desire, but if you don't have a sense of urgency to it, it doesn't make sense. So it's like deadlines will bring the sheer, you know, uh, that, that motivation, that much needed motivation for you to succeed. So nothing motivates by deadline. And most often than not, I know it sounds not so good, but our deadlines are those which are enforced, reinforced by other people, and not by us. They want us to be performing by this day. You need to bring out, you need to do this thing by this day. You need to uh, serve someone by this day. You need to uh, speak out. You know, you've got this seminar to perform by this day. Whatever it could be that would require you to do the task. But if you have a deadline, that makes all the difference. That will make you do it faster and give more meaning to what you really want to be doing. So four points, guys. Why would someone 
travel half the world to do something why would someone put their send themselves into the grid to do something it's simple unless and until you have that thing from inside that necessity from inside to succeed it's not going to happen so the next time you maybe you put a goal for yourself or maybe you want to achieve a you want to reach a peak for something or what is it that be big, big hairy audacious goal as you said your b hack you can test your b hack on these counts you know you can test how do you feel internally about it do you, does it become your personal identity i mean have you aligned your identity with what is whatever it is that you really want do you really feel you have your duty or you have an obligation to do this thing or and beyond yourself i mean you're doing it for people outside than you the third one is are you really really obsessed about it and not just passionate remember the two are very different obsession versus passion and the fourth one is put real deadlines have your real deadlines in place and once these four things are sorted that's a huge huge game changer and then you see how beautifully things start shifting and working in your favor right so these are the important notings i've made huge huge notes from apart from the core strategy that we have to learn on what else i have learned just by observing people being with people sharing with people talking with them and just connecting with them and it was tremendous and i'd love to bring each of these learnings to you guys so stay tuned moreover for whatever you we've covered in the high performance master class the series will soon continue so for those who haven't yet watched the previous ones go to malkarhpclass.com i shall soon be announcing the date when we'll be uh, going live again with the master class number 9 that's where we are going to resume so see you guys soon in the series of master class until then wish you all the best keep rocking and keep creating that necessity in all that you do bye bye guys lots of love